Hey everyone, we're back for the first tutorial of 2014. And the first one I wanna do for you is Blake Lively from The Met Ball. She looked absolutely amazing and was a complete throwback um, of Veronica Lake from the 1940s. She looked beautiful. Her makeup was understated. Uh, she had the Hollywood glamour, but her hair was really what made it look so amazing. So what I'm going to do for you is show you the makeup on my model Natalia. And then after we're done with the makeup, we'll go ahead and I'll do a hair tutorial for you after that. So the first thing I did, I already prepared uh, one side of Natalia's face and one of, her, uh, one of her eyes. And it was really, really simple. All I took was this aqua cream from Makeup Forever. And I just put it on with my fingers. So close your eyes. And I just finger paint it on. It's really about just getting a little bit of a sheen on the eyes. It's not about getting too much color or too much darkness. It's really a clean kind of eye makeup look. So we'll go ahead and spread that. The thing I love about these uh, creams are that they stay in place, they don't move at all. So if it's a long night and I'm sending a celebrity or a bride you know, out for the night, I'm not worried that their eyeshadow is gonna kind of come out all over the place. So open your eyes up, there you go. That's it, just something really nice and simple. Then what I'm gonna do is put just a small lash on her, nothing too crazy. I think we're getting away from the really, close your eyes, from the really big lashes and the smoky, smoky eyes that um, we did in the past couple years and it's really going to a much simpler eye. So open your eyes up. Just gonna check that eyelash look up. I always have the model look up when I'm checking the eyelashes because then I can see right here if it's laying in the right spot and this one's perfect so I'm not gonna touch it for a minute until it dries. And now what I'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll work on her eyebrows. So now with the eyebrows, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in uh, Natalia's eyebrows quite a bit. She's got a really good shape here. She's got a nice V here on top, but what I wanna do is just strengthen that up. And I'm using um, really my favorite old fashioned Maybelline uh, eyebrow pencils. And this one's in blonde. I don't wanna have it too dark because I think even though in the 40s the eyebrows were dark, we don't want it to look too charactery. We wanna keep it in a really modern sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead, draw on top of that. And then with the sponge and a little bit of powder, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that eyebrow. If we need to add more, we can always add more, but um, I'd rather add a little bit at a time than put a really dark, harsh eyebrow on someone, and then it's hard to get off afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna finish it up with a little bit a brow powder what this will do is, is it'll soften it up a little bit and it'll also give it a little more intensity there's nothing worse than doing a beautiful shaped brow and then all of a sudden you know you put too dark of a powder on top of it and it just ruins the eyebrow so now what I'm gonna do is come in and put a really beautiful shimmery highlighter just underneath the brow bone be careful not to um, go too thick with this. You really want to just keep it kind of underneath that V part of the brow. And what this is really going to do is give it a really, really beautiful illusion of a really shaped brow. Um, we've got a nice shape going on here, but when you put that highlighter under there, it really makes a huge difference in um, having the eye look bigger and the eyebrow being a little bit more shaped. I'm gonna go back to our eyelashes, and all I'm gonna do is take some mascara. I love the Voluminous, this is the one that I use. Can you look right down here? And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of mascara on. Some people don't put mascara on eyelashes, and I don't understand why. I think you need to blend the natural lash in with the false eyelash. And um, you know, you can't have too much mascara. So I think it's a really good idea to always blend the two together. And you know, if you need to use a waterproof, then go ahead and use a waterproof to do that. You take a peek. Perfect. So we've gone ahead and gotten the eyes done. And now what I want to do is come in and pick a really beautiful lip. What I love about the look that Blake did is she didn't do 
the traditional 40s color lip, which is a really kind of a deep red. She picked a little bit more of a vibrant, more modern color, and I think that's what made it look younger and not too um, old for her. So I'm gonna come in and take these two really pretty kind of mauve pinks, and then I'm just gonna mix a hint of this one in too. I love these three colors. Sometimes I just mix a bunch of different colors until I get, the, until I get what I want, um, and we'll see how this looks when I go ahead now and put it on your lips. So just uh, stretch your lips out, and I'll just start right in the center here, and work my way out, and then I'll come up here. Try not to go over the lip line. I did prep her lip with a kind of a nudie color lip liner. Um, just it really helps to prevent any kind of bleeding that may occur. And you know, a lot of the lipsticks we're using now, they're not really glossy. They're pretty, um, you know, they're not matte either. They've got a nice sheen to them. So you don't usually have to worry too much about the bleeding. Go ahead and smack your lips together. Good, I'll come in now and just finish off, stretch your mouth one more time. Just really finish off those edges of the lips of the Cupid's bow with the liner that I did. And we have look right there. That's a, a very modern 1940s kind of makeup look. Um, if you look up Veronica Lake, you can see how this has translated from the 1940s. And now we're gonna go on and we're gonna do the, my favorite part of this look, which is the hair.